So we're back again with now another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and this one is actually pretty exciting because with My Team this year, a new feature they decided to release is these card evolutions. So basically for players like the starter pack, Tracy McGrady, and there's a lot of emeralds that you get through domination, all these players can be upgraded to better rewards, including like this D-Wade, he can go up to an Amethyst. And basically what you have to do is just try and get like 300 points in this one, 15 steals, 10 games, and then it resets to another level. And it gets harder and harder each time, but obviously the card gets better and better. So in the future, I feel like this is going to be one of the best things in 2K because we might get an Amethyst that then we can pull and hopefully upgrade to a Galaxy Opal because right now there are so many emeralds right now that I need to upgrade. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually do this extremely quickly because some of these is very hard. Like there's this one right here with Semi, I don't even know how to say his name, but he, you have to score 40 points in a single game with him. And like this is an 80 overall emerald. So it is pretty difficult. The rest of them, to be honest, all these emerald ones aren't too hard. Hard, but the thing I've been grinding like absolutely crazy is yes I have got to the next stage of being able to evolve Isaiah Thomas the amethyst version and the way you first get this card is by getting 750 cards in the game to get Isaiah and I think this is actually one of the few cards we know of so far that will go up to a galaxy opal so I don't know what the requirements are going to be once we evolve this I am actually kind of excited to see so let's see what overall he goes to and also the requirements and yeah, that's that's pretty hard. 75 games as well, but there we go. We just upgraded him to a 94 overall Amethyst card. So for the next evolution to get him to a pink diamond, we're gonna need to score 3,000 points, get 200 threes, 200 assists, and play 75 games. That's a pretty big grind. But I seriously think his Amethyst right now might be my favorite card in the game, so I can just imagine the diamond's gonna be so much better. Like, just check his stats. Like, his ball handling went up. The thing that I'm most excited for about upgrading him is his speed goes up. But really not too much else. The biggest thing though is actually his Hall of Fame badges. He gets five of them. I think he started out with zero. He gets Slithery Finisher, which is insane for a five foot nine player. Giant Slayer, again, very good. Consistent Finisher, Relentless Finisher, and Acrobat. So literally for a short player, these are exactly the Hall of Fame badges you want. And I love short players in this year of 2K. So to know that this is my team right now, I'm loving it. But um, I just kind of realized to myself that this is a tutorial and I've just been talking about my cards. But now it's time to get into how you're actually able to complete a lot of these evolutions as quickly as possible. So what I recommend you do is create an evolution lineup. So for example, you guys can see my team right now. This is filled with evolution players that can still go up a couple of levels. And now once we set it as our active lineup and we go back, obviously this isn't a good team, but literally the way you want to do this is you want to go to single player and then go domination, go just normal domination. And then you want to find like one of the easiest teams possible. So I don't know if I had to recommend some, I'd say like the Suns, the Kings, the Grizzlies, um, the Knicks, maybe the Pacers to the Pistons. Just there's a lot of teams that you can decide to pick. The Hornets as well. And the one that we're going to pick for this tutorial is going to be the Kings. And literally all you have to do is just go into rookie difficulty. I know it's only one star, but you may as well. And then just click yes and play this game. So yeah, then this game is on rookie difficulty against not a great team. So you should be able to actually win this. Actually, the, the Kings aren't that bad. Like they have a pretty good 2K team. But this is extremely easy because it's on rookie. You just need to play defense. And I don't think it even matters either if you win or lose. So you can literally just throw up any shot you want with any player and just try and get this done. So it is extremely boring because obviously like it's not really counting. But this is all I do. I just give it to Isaiah and then I just run down the floor, just pull a three in his face and green it every single time. If I'm keeping it real with you guys, I was actually playing on like the three star difficulty for current domination to get Isaiah from an amethyst to diamond. But that was just what I was doing because I also wanted to grind out the game so it was a perfect combo to get two things done at once as I don't know what De'Aaron Fox is doing on offense right now but you guys can see this is literally all you need to do is just play good defense it really doesn't matter either you kind of want them to take quick shots so you can just flop the whole time we're gonna get a rebound later not here they're gonna score again but yeah literally you just start getting heaps of stops and I'm just gonna take it with Isaiah he's gonna try and play defense against me but it's not good enough and it's a pretty easy tutorial but this is by far the best way you guys can do it because because like, you know, it's, uh, it's on rookie difficulty and all you got to do is just run down the floor with a three point shoot if that's the way that you're trying to do it and just pull threes like that and just make sure you check the evolution challenges that you have to do like I know for Terrence Ferguson I have to get dunks with him I think for Miles Bridges I have to get threes with him so I just pay attention to what I need to do and then I go into the game with that mindset sometimes I'll take a photo with it 
just to make sure that I know what I'm actually doing in the game. But this time, I'm just trying to score with Isaiah. So that's exactly what we'll do every time. And I've said this a lot, but it's rookie difficulty. So you really shouldn't be stopped. Bro, I've been playing this game for 12 hours straight, getting this Isaiah from Amethyst to Diamond. It was a huge grind, but I'm not complaining because I was able to get knock out like 15 games of domination while I was doing it. So it was a pretty big win. Yeah, just remember, you don't have to play this on rookie. Like if you guys haven't completed domination, I recommend doing it on all pro and just trying to win the games because that's really all you need to do and just see how many points Isaiah or whoever you're trying to get will get for you in those games because you should pretty much win if you're like above average at the game and we're pulling terrible release threes here i'm so tired just when you play on all pro difficulty i would recommend that you don't really go for too many threes because i find driving so much easier on those difficulties as we're only up by one point which is kind of bad but you know it's fine because we're going to make that four points after isaiah runs down the floor and greens another three that's pretty much the end of the tutorial i did just quit them because i don't really want to finish off that game to be honest i need to get some sleep because i'm so tired but yeah you do actually have to finish the game to get the stats added to the evolution so you can see here i'm still on zero even though i took all those shots just because i didn't actually finish the game but yeah this is definitely one of my favorite things that 2k has done in the game so far adding all these evolution players getting all these new hall of fame badges when you evolve them like look at how many we get when we go up to pink diamond it's insane he also gets plus 11 three-pointer like i want to grind this out hard so that might be the next go is for us to do this and then after that hopefully we can get him to an opal so yeah i know this was a pretty easy tutorial but literally just just rookie difficulty domination is your friend it's so boring to play but it's so worth to do but if you guys haven't done domination yet i'd highly recommend just doing it on all-star difficulty just so you can try and get three stars on all these games because you may as well kill two birds with one stone which actually when you think about it is such a bad saying but anyway you may as well knock out both of the things doing domination and evolving cards because my goal now when i go into historic domination is actually to evolve a lot of the emeralds just because if you guys didn't know this you do actually have to evolve every single one of the emeralds to be able to get the ruby danny green and the ruby sean livingston you can't just have the emeralds so you do have to get them all to sapphire and you need all of those to be able to get this pink diamond jason richardson which is really the final reward of domination so yeah card evolving is definitely one of the biggest things you guys can do in 2k so i highly recommend that you just grind out the rookie challenges just keep on pumping them out because that's what i'm going to do and hopefully i'll be one of the first people to get this isaiah to an opal so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button if you did i will release gameplay of diamond diamond isaiah thomas and also i'm wanting to do gameplay on this diamond Eddie jones as well and i've been saying that i'm going to do a domination tutorial that will come out tomorrow i said it was going to come out a while ago but i just haven't really been playing too much all-time domination and i want to make sure my tips are perfect for hall of fame difficulty so that's why that's taking a little bit yeah it should be all good we're definitely on a good track for 2k20 at the start and yeah i hope this video helped out and i hope you enjoyed it. it's pretty simple but you know if it works why not do it and yeah thank you guys for watching this video make sure to smash that like button subscribe if you're new follow me on twitch Twitter and Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.